what's up everybody so um, I'm back here with another Valent Force video today um, so I've been reading up um, some questions that I have in my PM and one of them is asking me that hey how do you get two star uh, runes so uh, as you guys know there are events right that happen every day they refresh so one of them is called the capital's last stand Alright, so if you go inside, okay, so there are three different difficulties and obviously as you can see, legendary, <laughs> I didn't manage to clear it yet. So, yeah, obviously normal, they give you the lousy one, which is one star, and the last one gives you two and three star. So, um, now I'm going to show you guys how I farm extremely easily the second uh, stage, which is the heroic one. So, I'm going to show you guys how I do it, okay? This is my team that I'm running. I'm actually doing two archers, alright? Both of them are Sabella, alright? So, regardless of what class they are, it does not matter because they are ranged, alright? So, one is a Gunslinger and the other one is a Royal Huntsman, alright? This one... I got it from a rare summon, so I have no choice but to just use it because it's already a 5 star. Okay, the core player in this uh, build is the Theresa. Why do I say that? It's because of the aura. Alright, you can see the aura heals everyone, right, of 60% of the magic, of her magic every turn. So it's like a heal over time. Alright, so this is the most important in this stage because the boss actually does heavy AoE almost every turn. Alright, and also the ads that are coming out also explodes when it touches your character. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Alright, so obviously I'm doing a backup DPS which is a Z. Okay, the Z is a uh, 5 star and yeah, you can actually put your own mage as well doesn't not matter what the star it is so I'll just show you guys how easy it is with a Theresa alright so for your friend you might want to get a range character let's see if I can get one okay so this one is a range character so you might want to get one and you just auto battle and you let the arrows fly so you'll be asking me, yeah, why is Shizu at the back? Because you want to delay one turn for the dragon to move forward so that when they swap, it will immediately uh, attack. Alright, the Shizu will immediately attack. So, but in this case, as you can see, Shizu just swap, and there we go, she's gonna attack the next turn. Alright. So Leon, they were asking me, why? Why do you leave the, the bottom open? Simple guys. The range DPS will be able to take it down while it's on the way to the end. Okay. Secondly, alright, if the dragon does not hit anything, obviously there's no AOD damage. Right? So you leave the path clear and make sure that your DPS is enough to take them down immediately. Alright, so if you do get exploded just like that, do not worry because as long as there are units that are in Theresa's aura, you don't have to worry because why? She will heal you up the next turn and there you go, full health again. So Theresa is good in PvE in every way because of her heal over time. She does not do that well in Arena because Arena has reduced stats for healing. As you can see, she heals for like 2000 uh, in PvE, but in Arena she heals like 300 or something like that. So it's a bummer sometimes. So as you can see, my Shizu died. She served her purpose. She attacked as much as she can. She died. The range DPS will take over. Right? So you can see she, now the Ads are starting to die, even though if that person was to go into my team and explode, the result will still heal up. So it does not matter. 
right? So as long as you have four characters that are alive, I don't think you will have a problem at all. Alright, so as you guys can see, it's just taking down the boss now slowly without any problems at all. I'm not even touching the auto button. I'm just letting the bullets fly. Alright, so you guys will be wondering, Hey Leon, these are all 5 star heroes. Of course you will be easily, you know, you can face Rogue. You are wrong. As long as you have a Theresa that is nicely built, it can be a 4 star, with only two, you will still be able to survive the AOE. I tried it when it was only four star and it works. So all the way I've only been farming two star runes. Alright? So I hope this will help you guys. Because for me, I'll be able to farm two star runes every day. Theresa is the main per person in this uh, squad build. Alright, so just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, I did. See, guys, two star runes. Look at that. Abundance of them. So, you guys will be able to, to get two star runes as well easily just by following this build. Alright? You just need to power range DPS all over and make sure that at least two or three of them are in Theresa's aura. Alright, so that every turn you'll be able to heal out from that um, the AOE damage and voila! Two star runes all day. Alright, so I hope you guys uh, learned something in this video because I took some time for me to discover this group. Uh, how do you say, this group build. And yeah, I actually wasted a lot of energy trying out. So, see you guys, thank you for watching, I hope this helps you, make sure you guys farm as many runes as possible because it helps your team, and I'll see you all in the next video, peace out.